best friends. A well-off married couple. Or companions in misfortune. But the same woman is pictured in each photo, Dita Pepe. For more than 10 years, the Czech photographer has been taking self-portraits of herself alongside different people. It's a lifetime project. In the beginning, the people were friends, my mother, my aunt or uncle, people from my family. With time, I approached people who were not part of my family, but could be. Dieter Pepe is constantly on the lookout for new characters for her portraits. She's planning a new series featuring the islanders of Zilt on Germany's North Sea coast. Like arts manager Angela Grosser. The women have just met. But Angela Grosser allows the photographer intimate insights into her life. She talks about her family and lends her her favorite clothes. In her self-portraits, Dita Pepe doesn't just want to look like a friend, she wants to feel like one. It's a two-way deal. I'm just curious about people, new discoveries, how they work. I find that exciting. So if an artist comes to me and says, let's go on a journey of discovery, that's a great offer. It's just a world that I'm not familiar with, and I think it's great to be able to share in that. I don't quite know yet, but I think perhaps that we would stand somewhere here, the camera here. And actually, the sculpture doesn't have to be there. That would be too much. It will be square, with a composition in the middle. In all Dita Pepe's pictures, the people look directly into the camera. Often it's her own family, her children and her husband whom she photographs. Dita Pepe grew up in an industrial city near the Czech-Polish border. At 18, she moved to Germany. Then she went back home to the Czech Republic and studied photography and worked for photo magazines. She believes that life doesn't always go according to plan. I believe that I could have been born somewhere else in Africa or in Germany. And I believe that I can influence things, a lot of things. But life? I don't think that I can influence life. It's just coincidence. The idea behind the self-portraits is trying out what it would be like to be born into another world, to be someone else, somewhere else for a moment, using makeup, clothes, gestures. An unusual psychological experiment, perhaps. I don't find that strange. Or I think if you try to understand people, then you also try to put yourself in their position to some extent. Dita Pepe arranges her photos minutely. She uses a medium format camera, always analog. The image on the film is never retouched afterwards. The moment is what counts. She only changes places with her husband and assistant just before the shot. That's the illusion of photography, that to some extent you always see what you want to see. And if you want to see that we look similar, then you will. There are many ways of living, many paths that life might have taken. Dita Pepe shows that in her photographs. And there are many ways of being happy.